And I just found that it was, it was so much easier and fun, you know, more fun to work with a group that was buying 10 to 20 properties a year rather than, you know, this churn and burn of trying to list the property and, you know, maybe, you know, spend all my time to get a deal. So Josh, what's the best kept secret to commercial real estate syndications or syndicates the way that, and how would you define that? Cause I don't want to also put that in a box, right? It could be brokerage. It could be networks. It could be brands, right? So yeah. define that for us. And then we'll also get into the commercial real estate side of things. Yeah. So when I started in real estate, I, I grew up on a construction site with my, with my dad, right? So swinging hammers and, you know, working in the summers, I was, I was the cheap labor, right? So my dad gave me a, a post hole digger. I got my PhD and I, I learned how to dig footers and, and swing hammers. And it was a tough job. And, and I remember at a young age, I just felt like my mission was to, you know, help, help my dad help, you know, everybody has daddy and mommy issues. And one of my things was I, I, I wanted to make dad proud, but I also wanted to help his business. So I read a bunch of business books at a, as a young kid, but, um, you know, I, I saw these people I'm working, you know, for an hourly wage in, in, the, in the Florida sun, you know, floating trusses or, you know, roofing. And then a, a Lexus would drive up. They would put a sign in the front yard and drive off and they were making more money than me. So I said, who are they and what, what are they doing? And I found out they're in real estate. They're selling, you know, they're selling what all the hard work that we did. So at a young age, I got my real estate license and, uh, I found that, especially in Central Florida, there's you know you could have a million dollar house next to a mobile home. There's some interesting you know areas, and I just found that I didn't really work well with the the residential world. You know, listing a listing a home for you know Grandma Susie, and then showing it to 100 people, and then getting you know a 300 dollar commission check wasn't for me. So I started working with investors, and this is where I learned a little bit about what what it means to be. Uh, a syndicator, what it means to be a, a networker, a connector, because a lot of times I would go and I would get my own deals and then I would syndicate the deal out. Right. I, so I'd find a deal, I'd lock it up and then I would wind up selling the deal to, to an investor or an investment group. Uh, and I just found that it was it was so much easier and fun, you know, more fun to work with a group that was buying 10 to 20 properties a year rather than, you know, this churn and burn of trying to list the property and you know, maybe, you know, spend all my time to get a deal and then, you know, one deal, 300 bucks, I'd rather do 10 at a time. So I guess that's kind of how I got into, uh, real estate. Cool. Let me connect the dots here. Okay. So you're on the job site, by the way, I had a similar story. I would grow up in the Bay area of my dad, custom homes, room additions. I was the guy, we were the guy, we were, my brother and I were the guys who moved the bricks or moved the boards, right. Yeah. Or hammered, hammered the random nails or, you know, whatever he'd say, whatever you do, don't move bricks twice. Like make sure you have a plan and a process for what you're doing. Right. And drywall and Ryan, I remember my brother's driving the Bobcat and he's like, he's like tipping over a side. He almost like tipped the whole thing over on a, on a, on a big ditch he was digging. Um, but you're sitting there and you're like, wait, we've been working like, you know, eight, nine, 10 hour days. That person just drove up for a few minutes, put a sign out front and how much are they making? And you're going like, oh my gosh. Okay. A and then B. So you went to real estate and then you also looked around and said, wait, there's also put, people putting these commercial real estate deals together and how much are they making, right? So in other words, you're connecting the dots and you're bringing people together to, to make sense of it. Is that a fair summary so far? 